All right, uh, 2011 PJ champion Keegan Bradley is with us, following a two under 68 for him. Uh, Keegan, how would you summarize your opening round today? A uh, lot of good, a lot of ups and downs, but this course is so tough. I'm so, so glad to be done. I'm just like fried, but um, what a great test it is. Oak Hill is just unbelievable, and the, the amount of fans, you know, Rochester is really showing out this week. It's great. We'll open up for questions, starting with Jeff. What was the rhythm of the round like for you? Just as you say, so many birdies, so many ups and downs. Yeah, I mean, I got off to such a great start, and I hit a, a horrible shot on 15 to an area you just can't hit in. And then, you know, I played great. The, the, the finishing holes on both these sides are so hard that, you know, you figure you're going to make a bogey problem unless you have perfect shots. So, you know, two under par is a great score. I would have loved for it to be four, but... You know, that's just the way this is. We're playing, basically playing a U.S. Open out there, so, you know, uh, you're going to make bogeys. I think you had, what, uh, how many birdies? Seven birdies and wow. 130-something feet of putts. What, what was leading you to the birdies? What was the biggest factor? Yeah, I mean, I, I was hitting a lot of great iron shots, and I putted great today. It's so fun, especially in majors, to, to putt that way and feel like you're going to make a ton of putts. So, I mean, the greens are absolutely perfect. Um, I just, it's really fun to play golf around here at Oak Hill in front of these fans. All right, let's go up to Mike's 12 and 11. Yeah, Keegan, I know how much you love playing in these big time events, big time atmospheres, and especially with, you know, Bryson and Jason today. Uh, what was the atmosphere like out there and how does that affect how you approach a round and how you enjoy a round? Well, it was spectacular. I mean, listen, uh, you come to... You know, you come to an area like this with Oak Hill where they don't get a lot of golf tournaments and just, like, you show up. We showed up today, you know, in the morning round, and it's just lined with people. So um, I love playing golf up in the Northeast, and, you know, I love playing these classic golf courses with all the history and the Ryder Cups and the, you know, U.S. Opens and all that, and um, it's just a pleasure to play out here. Uh, Keegan, I noticed your group was one of the first that got caught up in the jam on 14. I know uh, Jason ended up having to hit two tee balls. What, what, what do you say about that situation on that hole there, as well as with one being there too? Yeah, I, I mean, the, the, the issue with that hole is it's not quite drivable. So, you know, you're, you're hitting it up there and then hitting – you're not hitting any on the green. You're not going to probably hit any close. So you're, it's – Everyone could probably hit off that tee, but you're going to bother the people up by the green. So it's kind of a, a, an area, a, a clogged area. I hope it doesn't get too bad. Mike Four. Keegan, uh, Bryson's game has not really been what we saw for the better part of a year. What, have, what, have you, what did you see from him today? Uh, and, and, and surprised at all if you know, you know how much he struggled of late? Yeah, I, geez, he played great. It looked like Bryson to me. I mean, he played, hit the ball great, potted great, uh, drove it really nice. Uh, you know, I'm, it was uh, it was good seeing him. Um, I mean, he was smashing drives again and play, played he played pretty much flawless golf. So um, happy for him. Any other questions? You had some not only making birdies out there, but birding some tough holes. You know, uh, how key is that out here? Do you feel like you're when you're birding a six or a, a three, are you almost picking up two? Shot and a half sometimes. Yeah, I mean that that's that sixth hole, that six tee shot is the one you're laying in bed kind of thinking about. So once you get that behind you and then you know I made I made such a great swing in there with seven iron and made the, the tough putt. And then an eighteen, you know, one of the hardest holes we'll ever play, I made about a fifty footer. So that's a bonus, you know. So um, but really fun because the crowds the crowd was really loving it and uh, it's just a, it's so fun to play in front of big crowds. It's just amazing. When you think about driving out of Atlanta with that trophy in your car, does it seem that long ago or does it seem not very long ago? Yeah, I mean, it seems almost like another lifetime ago for me. I didn't, you know, I hadn't met my wife yet. I didn't, obviously didn't have any kids. And, um, you know, when I, when I watch back highlights of it, I get so, I, like, my, my palms get sweaty. Like, I start to get nervous, like something bad's going to happen, even though I know it's over. But... Uh, it's it's really it's been it's been fun. I don't know what has gone on this week, but it's really been almost sunk in more that I've won this tournament. You know, going to the champions dinner, and then when they announced me on the first tee today as the 
2011 champion. Like I got a little like lump in my throat. You know, I haven't felt that really. So I just, you know, and then you come around where that log jam was and the trophies there. And I, I don't ever touch any trophies that I haven't won, but I always go by and give it a little tap for good luck. So, you know, as I get older and play on the tour for a long time, I realize how special it is to win one of these. And I don't know, this week felt a little different for me. Back up to 12. Yeah, do, do I have it right that you played with Steele and Phil in a practice round this week? Yeah. And what was it like to kind of get the band back together? I know you're saying some of the guys you used to play a lot of practice rounds with have, have gone to live. Yeah, I mean, Steely's one of my closest friends in the entire world. So uh, it's been so great hanging with him, uh, you know, playing practice rounds and uh, going to dinner and complaining about how hard the course is and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's been a blast. Um, I miss I miss seeing a lot of the guys that have gone to live. It's it's fun to get to these majors and see them, but especially for me and Steely, we're pretty close friends. So it, we've been sort of looking forward to this week. All right. Thanks for your time, Keegan. Thank you, guys.